desert. They were so thirsty for the gospel. My words they were just so dry. My passion for Christ. And that's the lost. What is it? Too, Dad. Do you think maybe we could do something together? Maybe on Friday. I'd 
I like that. I like that a lot. Maybe God really does care about us. Lord Jesus, you know what it is like to be persecuted and ridiculed by family, friends, and others. You were tried, but you were found faithful. And so I pray for Lily that even though she may be tested, she too will walk in your footsteps and be found faithful at work and at school. Give her courage to stay in the day, boldness to seize any opportunities that come her way, and words of love to share to our hurting world. What is the problem? It's not what's the problem, it's who's the problem, and she's the problem. These no fat, no cholesterol potato chips are supposed to be on sale, and she charged me full price. Actually, sir. It's the low-fat, low-cholesterol potato chips that are on sale. Yeah. Whatever. They're still slow. Thank you. Have a nice day. Why don't you go ahead and take a break, Lily? I think the rush is over for now. You know, I went to see that movie last night, The Passion of the Christ. I thought it was crazy. But I've seen how you behave with the customers and how you handled that punk from before, I thought, here's someone who really knows about this. Could you tell me more? Sure. That'd be great. Do you want to go get coffee? Okay. Holy Spirit, Jesus called you the comforter and counselor, one who comes alongside of us and helps us. I know that your missionaries are on the front lines of the battle. And I ask that you will encourage them through your word and give them and rekindle their passion and their love for you once again if they have lost it. If any of them are sick, sustain them and bring healing in due time. Why do you say, O Jacob, and complain, O Israel? My way is hidden from the Lord. My cause is disregarded by my God. Do you not know? Have you not heard? Lord is the everlasting God. He is the creator of the universe. He does not grow tired or weary. His understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary. Young men stumble and fall. But those who put their hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings as eagles. Will run and not go weary, will walk and not faint. Oh Lord, I'm so sorry. I thought that you'd abandoned us. I am weary and tired. But the creator of the galaxies and the stars, he is not. Oh Lord, I ask you come and renew your passion and your love in me again.